Patty Murphy, and I'm the author of Piecing Makeover, Simple Tricks to Fine Tune Your Patchwork. Uh, I started working on this book about a year or so ago, and uh, I'm super happy that it's really out and that I can share it with you. The basic premise of this book is that it shows you how to make patchwork the way it should look, how you made a mistake, why that mistake happened, and how to fix it. In the book, I start at the very beginning with things like strip piecing, half square triangles, nine patches, flying geese, and every chapter and section builds on what you've previously learned. Um, we have classic favorites like an Ohio star and a sawtooth star, and I also have things like modern favorites with hexagons and diamonds and other fun things. The very last chapter has some finishing techniques that you can use, uh, proper bindings, setting pieces, uh, sashing, borders. Um, it's a great tool for beginning and intermediate quilters and there are a million different ways that you can use it uh, as a shop owner or as um, an individual quilter at home. So I hope you give it a look and I hope you like it. And today I'm going to talk to you about furling seams. It's a process I talk about in my book multiple times in a couple chapters and I think it's really, really helpful uh, for quilters to use when they want to fine tune some of their patchwork. Essentially, furling is the process of spinning something around a center point, like ribbons on a may pole flag. In quilting, furling is essentially spinning parts of your seam allowance around the intersection. You can use it on all sorts of blocks, like a Lemoyne star, uh, Y seams, Ohio stars, and pinwheels. Today I'm going to show you how to use it for pinwheels. So when you make a pinwheel, you start with four half square units and you sew them into two units of two half square triangles, just like this. You will sew your half square triangles together and nest your seams and have a quarter of an inch seam allowance going through this point. You can see my quarter inch seam allowance here. When you press your seam open, you get this. Now this is fine, except you get a fair amount of bulk. So to furl your seam, you remove stitches here and here, and here and here. You can see it on this example. I've removed the stitches from this point to this point, and from this point to this point. When you do that, it gives you the ability to open your seams, everything goes in the same direction, and your piece will lie nice and flat. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson, and I hope you start furling seams in the future.